Hello everyone, today I would like to explore the tragedy of the commons, which essentially is an economic dilemma and it's based on a paper written by Garrett Hardin. So the word common is basically used to address common land, common ground if you want, that can be used by anyone. Um, and now the dilemma uh, is a dilemma where we have to make a certain choice between egoism and utilitarianism. So where I as an individual can act out of self-interest, I do not necessarily contribute to common wealth. And this is exactly the problem. Now, this metaphor might explain this into a little bit more detail. So imagine I'm a shepherd and I use this bit of grassland for my own self-interest. And I own this cow and I uh, make sure that this cow is actually using the grass for nutritional purposes. Well, I can make a little bit of money and make a living for my own. But what if I want to earn more money? What can I do then? I can use the same piece of grass, but now allow more animals to consume the grass. So I can actually make a lot more money compared to the previous situation. So as an individual, I make more money, especially more money compared to my competitors. So I can buy more things. I can live a nicer life. Uh, I can live a life in luxury even if I want to because I use more animals for the same uh, land slip of grass. However, there is also a downside to this on the longer term. Because eventually the grass will look like this and is exhausted and it will ruin the landscape and the animals might die in the end. So now this all has some very negative consequences. First of all, my competitors might feel the urge to do exactly the same thing. They want the same amount of money as I possess after all. They want to have a similar income compared to my income. And they see that I'm actually quite successful because I simply allow more animals on the same uh, piece of land. And as a result, I make more money. Why would they not do the same thing? The consequence is even bigger now, um, because the total sum up of all those competitors who do exactly the same thing will lead to a larger ruining of the landscape of a part of the planet that belongs to us all. The common is now ruined, and this is a tragedy, obviously. Um, but also for myself, as an individual, as an individual participant um, to an economy, acting out of self-interest, on the long run, I do not necessarily act out of self-interest because I'm ruining my own business in a way. Now, the tragedy of the commons embodies a quite complicated dilemma. Um, as wonderful as it seems to act on a more utilitarian basis, um, it seems to be not that easy to stop participating in this race to the bottom for the simple fact that on the short term uh, you will not be able to successfully compete if others are willing to sacrifice the commons, if you like, for their own self-interest. Um, so this could be problematic. Especially when you apply this model on a more global scale, you will see that the tragedy of the commons is still a very accurate description of economic dilemmas we might face when we try to do business and when we try to compete with one another. I hope that you've learned a little bit more about the tragedy of the commons in watching this video and good luck with your studies. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.